a small amount. See the white powder? I'm going to hold it here so you can see the white powder. See the white powder that's inside here? Mm -hmm. A very, very fine white powder. I took some and I added it to water. And within about 10 or 15 minutes after adding some food coloring, look at what you get. You ready? So watch this guy. So here it is. I added some red food coloring. Look at this ooey oh, gooey. Oh, man. It that's It literally thick pulls itself out. It's considered a self-siphoning gel. Isn't that fun? That look at that. So I made cool. a blue cup for you. So okay. play with it that way. What you have to be careful of is this. You have to realize that it goes fast. Careful. There you oh, go. Man. See? Now yeah. just barely tip okay. it like this. It's a very long molecule. So it's called yeah, a polymer. Just, oh. And it's, we teach kids about polymers. We simply say it's what happens when molecules hook onto other molecules. They just get longer and longer and longer. This one has a molecular weight of about 4 million, which just means that it's a really, really long chain of molecules. It's like people holding hands and take 4 million people and make them all hold hands and you kind of get what you're looking at here. Which is that, oh, is that fun? Ooh. Now here's the scary stuff. It will siphon itself out of the weirdest places. So we yes. were playing with this and um, if you decide when you're all done with it, we thought, you know what, let's, th let's throw this away. And so you put it in the trash can and kind of throw it away. Well, a little of it came over the edge of the trash can. We went to clean it up. Well, I don't think Jack cleaned it up completely because in the morning there was this little puddle on the outside of the trash can. Oh, there was just enough. It literally pulled itself, it out. itself out. And so here's how trash. it works. It's all about making a model. So watch what I did. So that it's hard. Some people say, I don't understand a long chain of molecules. So look at this. I have this container here that has beads. Mm -hmm. So uh, think of this as the long chain of molecules. And so now watch what happens. You hold onto the beads like this, okay. right? So literally, if I just take that long chain of molecules and pull it out, watch what happens. It literally siphons it itself out of the out. container. It just keeps going and going and going. It's one of those where you just you play and this is a teacher's nightmare, isn't it? Because it just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> but this is exactly what we have here. Look at that energy that's able to just continue to pull it out. Why? Because we started. It had a little velocity and it just kept going and going and going. This, are you retired of that yet? No, I no, like you want it all the way to the end? It's look a at chain you, look of at you. It, it is. It's and bam. And tell me a kid doesn't play with that. So when we're playing with something like this, watch this. You can kind of throw it. Whoop. Oh, is it? Uh oh, oh my nice. gosh! Now, now I did it. I'm. So, this is really, really bad. Uh oh, um, and see it's what in I the beads. I It's in the beads. They see what happens when you try to do something fun, and then this happens. The deal is this: they're taking these long chains of molecules and putting them in the ground and putting them close to the um, to the roots of the grass, and so it's holding moisture to it. And so actually, it's uh, helping erosion and everything else. So there's some logical things that go along with it as well.